Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear learner, my dear students, how are you everyone? Hope all of you are very well in your at your home. So my dear student, this is Mustain Billah, your religion teacher. And uh, inshallah, we, we, I will discuss with you today with a very important topic, the second source of Sharia, Sunnah. So my dear student, it's very important to success our life and without following the Sunnah and the lifestyle of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what he said as to success in our life this is very important topic so my dear student keep it watching and keep attention please my dear student <coughs> first of all i want to discuss with you uh, from chapter 2 lesson 11 here uh, i want to discuss describe with you the second source of sharia sharia means our religion islam our deen and uh, a second source of Sharia is Sunnah. We know the first source of Sharia is Al Quran. Quran is our first source for our ethic knowledge about anything uh, about Allah or Prophet or Hadith or anything. And second source of knowledge, second source of uh, Sharia is Sunnah. So, my dear student, first of all, I want to discuss with you introduction of Sunnah. Introduction of Sunnah. Uh, I hope uh, you will open your book when you uh, listen my class and you just verify my class with your book. My dear student, Sunnah is an Arabic word. We know Sunnah is an Arabic word and it means tradition or practice tradition or practice and we can uh, know about sunnah by islamic term it has a islamic term and in islamic term the saying deeds practice tradition as well as conventions approved by the holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam are called sunnah that we have already listened that what uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying and pro what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam practice in his life <clears throat> and what is uh, convention approved by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is called this Sunnah. So my dear student this is very important what is Sunnah and there are some difference Sunnah and Hadith. Then uh, <coughs> We can because something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send us in the Holy Quran very very briefly. Example and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Aqimu Salah, established the salah. This is very small ayat. And Allah says here very briefly, then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explain how can a Muslim perform a prayer. My dear student, I think uh, this is very clear to us that Allah sent and Allah says in ayat in the Holy Quran very briefly in anything, about anything, in a, uh, about Salat, about Zakat, Hajj, in everything. Then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam explained this is called as Sunnah. Then, uh, my dear student, we want to go to introduction of uh, hadith. Here, introduction of hadith. <coughs> hadith means is saying or message. Understand? Hadith means message or letter or saying anything. The generally, the say, saying message deeds and silent consent of the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, are taken and understood as hadith. This is very clear to us. Then we want to go. <coughs> hadith consists of two parts, kinds of hadith. There are many kinds of hadith we know. 
uh, in a uh, many way when we think that <coughs> first of all we want to discuss the kinds of hadith so <coughs> kinds of hadith the, there are two kinds one is sanat two Matan. My dear student, I tell you again, Sanad and Matan. How is it? Two kinds here. Sanad is uh, <coughs> uh, the narrators in a hadith. And uh, this is a Sanad. When Prophet Muhammad said something about Salat, example about Salat, own Sahabi uh, listened from Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he said in, to another person and this person is saying another person this is called the Sanad understand so my dear the chain of narrators chain of narrators is called the Sanad chain of narrators and Matan this is the main point of Hadith then Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what they said, the uh, example, innamal a'mal bin niyat. This is the main point of hadith. This is called this, it's called this, some matan. And the chain of narrators is called this, sanat. My dear students, then we uh, want to go, uh, <coughs> on who narrators, a hadith is called this, ravi or narrators, ravi. This is very important thing, here. What is called this Ravi? I want to ask you. What is called this Ravi? So then we want to go the categories of Hadith. Categories of Hadith. This is very important subject that Hadith are mainly divided into three groups. Three groups. Hadith are mainly divided into three groups. So uh, here I want to Three groups. Hadiths are mainly divided into three groups. First, Qawli. This is oral. First, this is Qawli. Qawli, that means is oral. The Hadith orally presented by Rasul Prophet Muhammad is called this Hadith Qawli. And second, Hadith Fa'li. Hadith fairly. Understand, my dear student. Fairly means related to deeds or acts or action. The hadith which presented an action or deeds of the Holy Prophet Muhammad is called this fairly hadith. First was hadith, first part of hadith, qawli. Second part is fairly. And third part is. Takriri. Takriri. So, my dear student, here uh, fairly, qawli, and takriri. Hadith takriri means uh, that is uh, approved those things and acts of others which received the approved by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu is called this. Takrir. Here, some work then that uh, done by Sahabi with uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he listen or don't. Uh, here, this is called this hadith takriri. So, my dear student, <coughs> we want to discuss is another kinds of hadith. In a view of Sanad, Hadith Sanad, we have already discussed about Sanad. What is Sanad? What is Matan? The chain of narrators is called this Sanad. So, my dear student, in a view of Sanad, Hadith has been classified into three kinds. In a view of
इन ए व्यू ऑफ इन ए व्यू ऑफ सनत हदी सर थ्री काइंड हदीत आर थ्री काइंड अंडरस्टैंड माई डियर स्टूडेंट सो हियर आई टेल यू थ्री काइंड मारूफ हदीस मारूफ हदीस मौकूफ हदीस एंड मकतू हदीस मारूफ मारूफ दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप is the first kind and <clears throat> mauquf maruf mauquf and maktu maruf mauquf and maktu three kinds of hadith in a view of sanad so first of all we want to discuss maruf hadith maruf hadith is called this <coughs> the hadith of who is the sanad or chain of narrators related reach up to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the narrators or sanad reach up to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is called this maruf the son of the narrators reach up to sahabi is called is mauquf the son of our <coughs> narrators reach up to tabi is called is maktu this is the three kinds of hadith we have already discussed and i think it's very clear to you then we want to discuss about hadith qudsi <coughs> hadith qudsi hadith qudsi that means the hadith is which the word and language is of prophet rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but its meaning consent and spirit have been received directly from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by ilham or dream understand so this is called is hadith hadith e qudsi hadith is a qudsi this is the language of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam but the concept or spirit received prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly by dream or ilham then uh, we want to discuss the main books of hadith is the authentic books of hadith this is very important thing the six most authentic books of hadith first bukhari muslim Tirmidhi Abu Dawud Nasai and <coughs> Ibn Majah So there is the most authentic hadith book is Siya Sitta six authentic the six most authentic book in a hadith this is the first is Bukhari, Bukhari Sharif Muslim Sharif Tirmidhi Sharif Abu Dawud Sharif Nasai Sharif and Ibn Majah Sharif so and uh, I give you a new lecture sheet uh, the name of uh, the writers of this book so my dear student we want to discuss now 
the last point uh, for today's class the importance of following the uh, hadith the importance of hadith <coughs> importance of hadith in our life so my dear student this is very important thing because as a muslim we know the second source of sharia is sunnah and hadith so my dear and my beloved student when we have to know the knowledge of Quran we have to know as well as we have to know the knowledge of hadith because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent and revealed the holy Quran to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam very briefly and described here every subject but this is briefly but Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam he described and classified and uh, very clearly said and explained in the hadith so my dear student this is very important because prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the best uh, following person in the world so my dear student this is all for the time being normal today inshallah i think inshallah when you can uh, you listen my class and uh, you write read the your book with following my uh, discuss and my lecture sheet inshallah you can understand and this is very important point i always prefer you this is very important because sunnah without following the sunnah we can't success in our life so keep it watching inshallah see you again in next class Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.